Hi, my name is Heidi Kodra Jagana, registered nurse and health educator at the Bureau of Health Education, Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs. Today's focus is food care in persons with diabetes. Food complications are one of the most common conditions in persons with diabetes, which can result in limb amputations. Common food problems may include foot ulcers, athlete's foot, fungal nail infection, calluses, blisters, dry skin, and ingrown toenails. Chronic high levels of blood sugar causes nerve damage, which results in poor blood flow, especially to the feet. This is called peripheral neuropathy. The symptoms include loss of sensation, numbness, pain in the legs or feet, and sensitivity. About 60% of all persons with diabetes will eventually develop peripheral neuropathy. However, following some basic tips can help to reduce your risk of common food problems and serious complications. Diabetes is complex and it is a daily challenge. Therefore, it is important that you ensure that you eat as healthy as possible, exercise and take your medication as prescribed. Here are some basic guidelines to help you take care of your feet. Keeping the blood sugar level under control will help in managing diabetes and protect your feet. Carefully inspect your feet on a daily basis. Look for redness, blisters, sores, calluses, and other signs of irritation. Foot checks are especially important if you have poor blood flow or circulation. Visit your closest wellness center or private doctor if you notice any of the following with your feet. Changes in skin color or temperature, ankle or feet swelling, the appearance of corns, calluses, ingrown toenails, infected toenails, or dry cracked skin, leg pain, and unusual odor, open sores that are slow to heal or oozing. Wash your feet daily with mild soap, one that will not increase or cause skin dryness and warm water. Persons with prolonged diabetes are especially prone to dry skin. Avoid soaking your feet for long periods. If you choose to use warm water, test it with your hands first. It is recommended that someone else test the water and it should be lukewarm. Dry your feet completely after bathing, paying special attention to the areas between the toes. When drying your feet, avoid rubbing as it can cause friction and can irritate the skin. Pat dry preferably. Avoid applying cream between the toes. Once a week, examine your toenails. Trim toenails straight across using a nail clipper. Avoid rounding or trimming down the sides of toenails. Smooth, rough nail edges with an emery board after clipping. Wear shoes with proper padding and support. Preferably, buy shoes in the afternoon. This is when your feet tend to swell. Avoid pointed toes shoes. Round toe shoes are better. Buy shoes at least half a size or one size bigger. This will prevent friction and restrict blood flow. Avoid walking outside and around the house barefooted. Preferably wear loose, seamless cotton or wool socks. People with diabetes should have a foot examination done at least once a year. However, people with poor foot circulation should have examinations done at least every three months. Be proactive and make your appointment today at your wellness center to see a podiatrist for your foot examination. I am Heidi Kodra Jagannath. Thanks for watching.